So I remember a time when being anti-racist uh, was simply to not be racist. Now we're living in a time, 2020, uh, where being anti-racist is exclusively now basically being racist to white people. That seems to be what we're living in. Um, and I know there'll be a lot of people that will disagree from that opening statement. <sighs> Definitions, uh, unless you've just changed them, that's basically what we're living in. Seth Rogen, I'm just actively trying to make less things starring white people. So the statement there is basically saying, or well, it is saying, I am actively being prejudiced towards people uh, of white ethnicity because reasons uh, not because of their skill set their talent but they he, he's being prejudiced against white people because they're white in an effort to be anti-racist Seth Rogen is now being racist weird isn't it very very weird uh, but remember 2020 is the year of the PAG PAGs have just grown out of control now. Uh, if you don't know what that is, hashtag PAG. It is the Participation Award Generation. We are seeing the fruits of that. Um, again, the clues in the name. There was a whole generation of kids that just had participation awards. There was no clear winner. Um, and thus, they are entitled douche canoes. Uh, and here's what we've got. This is what it is. So here we go. Um, basically, Seth Rogen, the comedian and actor portraying Alien, the Alien, in the upcoming animated adaptation of Invincible, uh, recently noted that he is actively trying to make less things starring white people. Now this is part of a, a larger interview, and it's all actually to do with, funnily enough, promoting his movie that he stars in, Double, he's, he's doing Double, as the American Pickle. Uh, so he's basically playing him and then his grandfather as well, or great-grandfather. <sighs> what a hypocrite. <laughs> I'm just actively trying to make less things starring white people. Except if it's going to give me a payday, of course. Because if it gives me a payday, who cares? What an idiot. What, why don't you... How do you not realise you're just being a moron? Anyway, whatever. So basically, the, the wider interview at large here is quite funny. There's a lot of stuff which he says which are, uh, again, very much virtue signaling nonsense. Uh, when you just just look at his filmography, you go, we're just being an idiot then, aren't you, mate? Like, it's very clear that you don't you know, live by the things you're saying right now. So in a recent interview given to Entertainment Weekly's Leah Greenblatt, the progressive actor discussed a wide range of topics, including his new film, An American Pickle, social issues and how his grandfather would have smacked him around if they met in their 30s. So, at one point during the interview, while discussing Rogan's Canadian origins, Greenblatt asks the actor what his thoughts on the current American socio-political climate after witnessing the social and political upheaval of the last few months. Now, this article is actually linked down below in the description box. Check it out if you want to read along with me. Now, his reply was, For a long time, I think I was alleviating myself from some of the responsibility that one who is making a living off the American system should be feeling. You know? Like, I'm Canadian. I just come here to work and make comedies. Now, that's interesting, isn't it? Because, like, wherever I am, I don't remove my... And th this is genuine truth like I've lived all over the world I've worked in America I've lived and worked in Australia as well and I've lived and worked in different parts of the UK wherever I've been I have never thought I am exempt from the social political landscape that I am actually engaged in you know where I've lived I have included myself naturally it's not a conscious thing only looking back can I confirm that that's the thing, because it's not conscious. But you naturally just go, well, I'm here, you know. I best, you know, I'm, I'm, I need to act appropriately, act courteously, have manners. You know, don't be, I, I don't know, like, I wouldn't go to a place and just suddenly become racist, would I? Like, it's just odd. According to Seth Rogen, no, though. According to Seth Rogen, no. It doesn't matter. According to him, it was conscious. He was actually removing himself from the responsibility of the place. 
like it's not even that you're responsible but you just you just are you know you immerse yourself there anyway what a strange strange response uh, is that just me anyway he continued now it's been too long and I, i'm an adult and i'm fully a part of american culture and a contributor to it i can't pretend that this is not my culture as well and that this is not my problem as well i am an american citizen and this is america and i make money in america so i no longer feel that way now just again wherever i am i feel a part of that culture i i'm not necessarily the culture but i i try to immerse myself in it right I wouldn't just go, well, you know, I'm living here, so, you know, I'm, I'm British and therefore I only care about Britain. That's very strange. You know, if you live somewhere and you're working somewhere, you are, you are part of it. Sorry, just smack the microphone. You are part of it. But only apparently when he's a citizen does he care. Now this, in my eyes, says a lot more about Seth Rogen than it does actually the socio-political climate. Correct me if you disagree. Now, Greenblatt would then turn the topic to diversity in the industry and ask Rogan, what do you feel like your role in that can be? And this is where he just basically becomes a racist. I mean, personally, I think I'm just actively trying to make less things starring white people, even though he's just released the film where he stars two roles. Okay, you virtue signaling douche. The comedian would then go on and say this, and if I'm succeeding or I'm not, I'm very much looking... Uh, you know, to have a far more diverse group of writers and directors and actors that we generally work with because that group is not incredibly diverse. You know? Are you negating your work? Do you think your work is shit? What is it? Because at the end of the day, if you're happy with the work and the talent that's been provided, the colour of their skin shouldn't matter. You hire the best people. You know? Now, again... This kind of commentary here, saying that you want to get a few more diverse quotas in there, I find really alarming. And I find it alarming because, again, I'm sure if you are of a certain ethnicity, you don't want to be hired just because you're that ethnicity, right? It's weird, isn't it? Do you not think it's weird? Surely you'd want to be hired because of your writing skill, not because you're black. Unless, you know, the colour of your skin was represented in the work and that you could contribute a cultural perspective of the work that you're going to be, you know, working on, like a consultant. That's how I would look at it anyway. But again, remember, I'm apparently the bigot and apparently the racist. Rogan would then conclude and said, so that's how I've been trying to deal with it, is just to actively take, as they would say, anti-racist measures to assure that some work is doing done uh, is doing done to acknowledge that black people are very marginalized in American society. Um, and yeah, that's fine, but in being anti-racist, you're now being racist, um, unless you've now changed the definition. But also, not only that, you are just virtue signaling Seth, my dude, your executive producer on The Boys, not that diverse, is it? I mean, it's pretty. Di it's diverse. I would say it's diverse, but it's not diverse in terms of, you know, what BLM would want you to be like. Let's be honest. And also, your movie now is you, double time. So quite confusing. I don't really understand it, but whatever. Uh, the American Pickle is on HBO Max, uh, and the film, of course, follows an immigrant worker at a pickle factory who's preserved for 100 years and wakes up in modern-day Brooklyn. Pretty bog standard looking film. Not something I was particularly enamoured with when I watched the trailer. In fact, it does look like Seth Rogen is a bit out of ideas in terms of his acting potential now. I mean, it looks boring, if you ask me. But there you go. 2020, the year of the pag. Pags rising up. And that's why we've got all of these problems. I stand by that hashtag pag. Let me know your thoughts on this down below in the comment section. If you're new here, do hit subscribe. You can step to date on the world of pop culture movie news by hitting the bell notification icon. Um, also, I don't know if anyone knew this, but I do actually have a second channel. Uh, it's a car and, well, it's an automotive and vlog channel. I'll leave that link down below. Uh, you can check it out if you want. If not, and cars are not your thing, then don't check it out because it's, it's a car and 
vlog channel. Anyway, take care.